Okay, welcome back animators. Morris here. Let's go ahead and get started. This is very easy. Anyone can do it, okay? Nothing complicated going on here at all. I will start by creating a comp. Uh, we're gonna go three seconds, 920 by 1080. And we're just gonna call this like text box. Let me go ahead and paste in my neon colors just to make things easier. And uh, we will start off by creating some text. And I already have this selected. This is Avenir Next Medium Italic. Um, but if you don't have that, just choose another font. It doesn't matter really. Okay. 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 First, let's, let's go over here and there's this animator options. And we want to hit our skew. Okay. And let's go something like maybe 15. Then we just go down here to our transform. And then we go down here to rotate and we go negative uh, 15. Let me go one, two, three, something like that. Negative 15. That may be, eh, that's fine, whatever. Okay, let's do a little bit of animation here. Um, and so we're going to go over here to the uh, rectangle tool. And, uh, and since we are dealing with something that's already rotated, our uh, mask will be rotated as well, so that makes it really easy for us. Then we uh, select our text again. We need to add a new animator for position, okay? Because we only want to move the text itself and not the uh, mask. So we add that animator. Okay, let's go out about a second because this is where we want to end up, not where we want to go. And then we're going to go back to the beginning and we may have to tweak these later on uh, and go back to the beginning and let's go ahead and just go up like that go ahead and go to our graph editor and you know i like to pull this back let's ease this way in like that let's see if that does it a little bit better okay and I'm going to move this in. And I would say for our purposes, that looks just fine to me. Now what we want to do is hit Command or Control D to duplicate this. And we'll just write effects. And um, over here. And now we need to double click and type E-F-F-E-C-T-S. Okay, and it's gone beyond the mask, of course. Okay, we're going to move this off. And clearly I've made this too large because we're kind of going off screen here. So let me go down just a little bit. So don't make yours as big as I made mine. We go down to 80. Let's see if that works for me. So now I can kind of bring this back right here. In fact, I can grab this other one and still go back a little further, like that. Now I just need to get this mask here and kind of drag it out. Get this. And drag this out. So if I hit the space bar, and uh, you see that it's kind of going like this, but we want the effects to come up instead of go down. So let me hit the letter U when I have that selected, and um, and we will just bring this down right about there, I guess. Okay. And apologies, I'm going to select both of these and still drag them out to the center here. This is just really messed up on me. Next, what we're going to do is deselect our text here, and we're going to hit Q or just hit uh, our shape tool there. And we are just going to drag something out. We can uh, make changes later. And let's make this about 10, I'd say. And then we are going to change this to the blue there. We'll call this box. And now all we need to do is go down here to our rectangle. And in order to get it that skewed look, we want to see if we change this to, we'll try 14 at first. But then we have to rotate this to negative 14, just like that. 
And this is all located, remember, in the rectangle transform, not the uh, global transform. You're not going to find skew and skew axis and all that stuff there. And let's drag it up and see how it fits. I mean, but you can tell that it's tapering down into that effects there. So let's try... We'll try 15, and then we'll go negative 15 on the rotation. Let's kind of tighten that up just a little bit, and we're about to get started on this part of the animation. And so the very next thing we do is go over here to the add, and we are going to add a trim paths, and this is going to allow our line to animate on. So let's change this to 50 and 50, and so we hit the stopwatch on the start. And uh, let's go about a second out, and we'll get the timing on this later on. And we just want to go back down to zero, so 50 to zero. Let's find me, and then we're going to hit F9 as usual. And we're going to go to our graph editor again, and we will be just kind of dialing this back on our speed graph. And we might even just do this too see and just as this begins to slow down I want the effects to go up so like I said we'll we'll play with the text later in fact let me go ahead and now that we're getting somewhere let's go ahead and turn the text off so it won't get distracting to us so that looks fine to me so we're gonna add a repeater the repeater is gonna make this very simple for us and all we have to do is make a few simple changes and we can kind of get it to do whatever we want it to do and right now you only see one because it is going off screen uh, but the way a repeater works is it adds uh, two extra instances. So the first copy is considered just that first line that we've animated. And then it goes ahead and adds these other two. And the reason why you see this out here on the x-axis is because by default it kind of throws it out 100 pixels just so you can kind of see where everything is, right? So we're going to change that to zero. Okay, and we're going to change this to 2 because we only need an extra one. So what we need to do is change our scaling values. So we want to unlink the X and the Y values here. And what I want to do is put a negative in front of this first one for the X value. What we'll want to do is add another 100. And now we have uh, negative 100. And I guess we could have kept that linked. And now we have our text box created just like we want. That is how we're going to create our text box with a repeater. It's much easier this way. So I'm turning off the graph editor. And I will turn on After Effects text. Let me uh, grab both of these and hit the letter U. And we don't want this to all, we want this to be staggered out a little bit. So. Let's see what happens when we go right about there, I guess. And I think that a second is too much. So, and so I want them to end at the same time, but maybe the text kind of staggers and goes a little bit quicker. And one thing you will notice is our effect is not looking right at all because our, our mask is out of place and it's not coming directly from behind that, that horizontal line. So what we do is, um, you use your selection tool and click and then shift click again and then let go of the shift and pull down and now that i've done that if you hit command shift h and remove um, the mask you can kind of see a little bit better the top and bottom of my mask are showing so you kind of have to go over here to where your keyframes begin and uh, we'll just go up and for this one we just go down and that looks about right so there's tons of different things you can do with trim paths and repeaters working together. If you found that good, enjoyable, and worked for you, uh, please leave a like or comment. Definitely check out my other tutorials and hit the subscribe button if you want to see uh, what else I have um, coming up in the future. Thanks for taking time out of your day to watch this and have fun animating.